Hey folks, thanks for joining. This is Dan Bell with Intrigent and uh, another series video in getting started with Microsoft Project Online. And this one's gonna focus on setting up project intake. You know, we're not gonna go into um, excruciating details in all the different options for project intake. We're gonna go over you know, the most used options that are really uh, beneficial with the tool set, right? Okay, uh, so, so the first thing to keep in mind about project intake is a couple of things here. Why would you use it, number one? Well, it helps streamline the intake process, the, the process of requesting projects. So rather than having to use Microsoft Project to do so, you can use these enterprise project types and other folks other than project managers can actually initiate creating projects. The ability to have multiple enterprise project types allows us to have a unique project site per type of project, right? So the project site you're aware of, it can store documents in there, it can have issues and risks and so forth and other things. Well, you can pre-populate the project site with different types of, of project collateral per enterprise project type, which is great. You can also change other things within the project site to make them very unique. So if you have an inner, um, IT project type and a marketing project type, your project types, uh, project sites can be very different for each type of project. Now, the other thing you can do is you got a completely different project site template per enterprise project type. Therefore, the work breakdown structures can be completely different. And another thing we're going to look at as well is that the project ID can be unique as well. So organizations have a, a need that the project ID needs to be different and uh, that will totally support that need. Okay. All right. Great. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a project template. Well, we're going to do a couple actually create two project templates because we're going to create two EPTs to demonstrate uh, the, just the, how different they can be and the different uh, uniqueness they support, right? So I launched Microsoft Project and connected to my instance. And what I'm going to do is browse to where my project templates are. And uh, they are located in my delivery demo project templates. And we're actually going to open a template here. One's called IT. There's our IT project plan. So we're going to save this as a template. And to do so, we select File, Save As. We're going to click the Save button here. And we're going to call this Information Technology. Uh, and I'll just call this V1. V11. And we're going to save it as type of template here. And we'll just go ahead and select Save. So it's going to ask me if I want to remove all these values, if they exist, if I'm using a, a plan that was currently or previously used as uh, execution, then I can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to click yes to all to replace the local resources with the enterprise versions because there are some uh, enterprise resources. You can see there's some generics here. It looks like that's all set, saved, and saving 0% complete. So once this is done, we can close out of here. It looks like it's finished. Uh, close, save, check in, yes. Um, then we're going to go ahead and open and look for the next template, right? So again, we're going to go to delivery demo project templates, and we're going to select. And it can be, a, you know, I save these templates before out of project. Um, you know, they just going to be an MPP files as well, so no big deal. Either way is fine. There's my marketing project. I'm going to select file, save as, click save again marketing or marketing research the type again is going to be template click save it's going to ask me to remove values if they exist i'm just clicking that for good measure and it's saving you can see the save here is zero percent complete um, and once that's finished we can go ahead and close out of this and then we're going to create project sites and the sites are going to be used as templates for these EPTs we're going to create. All right, so in order to do that, we're going to launch into our project request instance. And now what we're going to go is uh, settings. We're going to go to site contents. And then we'll go to subsites. And then we're going to create a new subsite. And actually, I'm going to duplicate this because we're going to do this twice, right? So let's do this new subsite. And we're going to create two. Call this information technology one v11. And we'll go ahead and put that in the URL as well. What is it going to be? It's going to be a type of project site. 
um, I want it to use the same parent uh, permissions as the parent site. Do I want it displayed in the top link of the parent bar? Absolutely not. Use the top link bar from the parent site? Nope, don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and click create. And this should take place pretty quickly. Once this is finished, I'm not gonna make a lot of changes here. Really, the only thing I'm gonna do here is upload documents to the document library, right? So we'll click on the documents here. Click on upload. And we have document templates here. These are the IT project templates we want. And there they are, okay? And that takes care of the changes we wanted to make. All we wanted to do is create a project site template, uh, project site. We wanted to have these project artifacts in there. And then what we want to do is now we get to site settings, save site as template. I'm gonna call this our IT template B12. And we're gonna include the content. Click OK. Uh, this will go ahead and save this site as a template and it'll show it and up to us when it's done and saved successfully. A link where we can actually go look at it in the solution gallery if we really wanted to. Click that. And there we can see templates there. All right, so let's go to the other one. We're gonna click new subsite. This one's gonna be the marketing one. B12. We'll go ahead there, one, two as well. It's gonna be a project site, same permissions, but we don't want it showing up on the top link bar. Go ahead and create it. Once this is created, we're gonna do the same thing, except this time we're gonna load files that are marketing files, right? Okay. There are the marketing files in the document repository. We've gotta go back home. Then we're gonna go here. Uh, site settings, save site as a template, P12, I'm going to include the content, click OK, and that will save this site, and we can take a quick look in the solution gallery, confirm that it's there with the other sites, uh, IT template V12, marketing V12. Excellent. All right, it looks like we have the building blocks together to go ahead with the EBT here. That means we can go ahead and get this thing rolling, right? Let's go to project request. Um, now we got a server settings, or as before, settings, PWA settings, if you don't have server settings added to the quick launch. And then under workflow and project detail page settings, there is enterprise project types. We click on that. And what we're gonna do is select new enterprise project type okay and there is the new enterprise project type layout for us and what we're going to do is we're going to start on information technology so that'll be the first one we create we're going to put a project id um, template in there for it to create the project ids from we want to start with it underscore first number will be one zero 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 one uh, we want the padding to be one. That just means it's going to increment one every single time. Uh, no workflow. The new project page will be project information. We want the project details and schedule pages added here. The URL to show a little image next to uh, the selection and the EPT dropdown. That's just something that I copied from another EPT that's already created in here. Uh, we're going to have the project site create automatically when the EPT uh, project is first created via the EPT. And that way we'll get to confirm that the correct project site template is used and the correct project um, artifacts are in there, the templates. We want the synchronization of the tr tr project sites to take place automatically so we don't have to add users manually. Therefore, we'll select sync user permissions. Uh, we're not going to sync the SharePoint task list. Really not interested in that. Uh, what do I want to use for the site template? Well, if you recall, we created that IT template v12 earlier. And for the project plan template, if you recall, we created that information technology template earlier as well. And with those settings, we're going to click Save. And this will go ahead and save the first enterprise project type that we created. All right, looks like that one's saved. Now let's go ahead and create the marketing EPT. Click on New Enterprise Project Type. We will enter marketing 
the prefix for the ID will be MKT underscore the first number, same as the other one. Digit padding just going to be increments by one. The project information page will be the kickoff page, just like the other one. We'll add the details and schedule as we did before. Uh, we'll paste in that URL from previously. We'll just let it go to the end of the list. As we did before, we want the project site to be created automatically upon the first creation here. <clears throat> the project sites will be created under the URL for the project web app instance that we're using. We do want to sync the permissions as we did before. And then the last two settings, the project site template. Remember we created marketing v12, project plan template. Again, marketing research, we have that one there too. We'll click save and let that save and then we'll move forward. And looks like they've taken care of themselves, great. Now if I navigate to project center and click on the project ribbon and click on new, now you see information technology and marketing both showing up there. So these are the new enterprise project types I just created. What we want to do is initiate a project via these EPTs. Let's go ahead and create an IT one. Okay, first IT project via EPT. That's all I'm really concerned about at this moment in time. I don't need a description or anything else with it. And it should create it pretty quick. Yeah, sometimes the project site takes a few moments to get generated. So we're not going to go check that immediately, but what I'm going to do is just going to close out of this. And we'll check that in. All right, here we are back at Project Center. We'll click on the Project Ribbon, New, and now we'll create a marketing project. First, Marketing Project via EPT. Click Finish. Remember, we're not interested in filling out a lot of details. We just want to get to the nuts and bolts of this, make sure it works. And there it is, this looks like it's finished. So let's go ahead and exit out of it. We'll check it back in. Okay, great. So it looks like the projects have finished created. We see the first IT project, the first marketing project. If you look at the project IDs, the way they came out, it looks like they came out exactly the way we wanted. We wanted an IT underscore with the first one, 1000, uh, excuse me, 10,001 for the IT project. We wanted the marketing project to have MKT underscore and the first number to be 10,001. So far, so good. All right, the other thing we wanted to do is let's go ahead into the IT project and we wanted it to use that specific project template to make sure it used the template. Oh, there we go. So there's the project template. We can see scope, analysis, software requirements, design. All looks good. Looks like the IT project template to me. The project site, let's check that out. Make sure that worked out okay. And if you look at the project site, remember I pre-populated it with the IT project collateral, these templates here, and it looks like that came out exactly the way I was expecting it to. Excellent. All right. Very happy with the way this has turned out. Now what I'm going to do is go back to Project Center. Let's go ahead and look at the marketing project. We'll click on first marketing project via EPT. Let's look at the project schedule. Make sure it's that marketing template that we selected gathering and analysis, project charter, business case, scope definition. Yep. Looks like this is the one that we were looking for before. That was basically the uh, marketing, right? Project plan, marketing ideas, etc., etc. Like it, like it. Let's click on the project site and make sure the project site has the correct project artifacts. And here are the documents, MKT underscores, to confirm that these are indeed the correct documents, which means the correct project site template was used for the initiation of the marketing type project. So it looks like everything came together, folks, exactly as we were anticipating. Again, what did we do? We basically created two new enterprise project types, information technology marketing. They each had their own project template, their own unique project ID setup, as well as their own unique project site template to hold their own unique project site artifacts. Okay, awesome. That went well. Thanks for attending. Hope you learned something from this video. Stay tuned for another video in the very near future. Any questions, comments, or suggestions that you may have, do not hesitate to reach out. We look forward to hearing from you.